Hey guys, Rydek from Rogue Sheep Gaming again, bringing you guys the achievements in the library. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put a little uh, emphasis on the fact that Bandana is essential for these two achievements. We're going to be getting both of them, which is uh, requiring you to complete the library on heroic or higher without dying, and then also to complete the library in 30 minutes or less on legendary. So you're going to start off in this first area by go ahead and just grenading the uh, <clears throat> the spores and the uh, carrier. Then you're going to do a grenade jump on this uh, back portion of the map here when you first start out. And then we're just going to uh, run through the doorway and we're going to stand underneath uh, 343 Guilty Spark to get him to uh, activate and move forward. Now by doing that grenade jump all you have is these little uh, groups of enemies right here and there will be no other enemies that spawn until the first door which is uh, really handy kinda at the beginning especially the fact that you don't have the shotgun yet uh, shotgun is also going to be very crucial um, I'll pretty much show you the fastest way to get the shotgun here in a few seconds but yeah, you're just going to uh, continue on through the level, and in this enemy, there should be all sorts of enemies spawning, all sorts of guys dropping down from the pipes, but you just... nothing. I mean, that grenade jump, uh, it takes a little bit of practice to get used to it, but once you get used to it, it makes it a lot easier. Now you can do a second grenade jump to bring you back around to 343 Guilty Spark, but it's rather difficult and uh, I just decided not to do it so the first door and then not the first pipe but the second pipe that you're gonna see there's a guy that's gonna have a shotgun and you're gonna be wanting to grenade behind him so it comes back to you I'll just go ahead and just pick that up in midair it's a pretty sweet catch <coughs> And you're just going to want to pretty much uh, shotgun everything you see. Especially don't fall into those, but breaking them will kind of funnel the flood where they won't uh, have a chance to run over them. Now, several po portions of the game are going to have you run through uh, sort of a gauntlet of enemies right here. Uh, the quickest suggestion that I have is sort of throw grenades both in front and behind. And then sort of just continuously shotgun while you move forward. Um, also jumping away from the enemy sort of uh, to create a little bit of distance now this next parts crazy you can pick up the health pack on the floor make sure that you throw a grenade at that uh, carrier or at least at the groups of enemies and there is an overshield down here which you see me pick up but I'm gonna lose it almost immediately because I just can't seem to stop throwing grenades at the enemies and having them bounce back at me Now in this next area, there's going to be some guys to the left, and there's going to be some carriers that spawn in on the right. I basically just throw a grenade over there and make sure to eliminate all the uh, combat forms and just leave the carriers. You don't really need to worry about them, they're not going to be able to chase you down. Uh, the only carriers I do worry about are these ones. Just go ahead and just make sure you eliminate them. <coughs> oh, sorry, I had to take a drink there. And go ahead and pre-nade this corner. There's going to be some carriers down there. Went ahead and I got one, but didn't get the other one, which really doesn't matter. There's going to be some guys kind of guarding the first floor elevator, so sort of uh, grenade that. And watch out behind you. There are sometimes combat forms do come, and if they have a shotgun or if you're not paying attention, you can lose your armor, eh, lose your shield at least very quickly. And that's the first floor. You got three more floors to go. Now if you don't get this one in your first couple of attempts, don't get frustrated. Just keep pressing at it. Um, eventually, after a while, you'll start to learn the spawns and where enemies will be at. And it just makes that all the much easier, especially if you just kind of keep going at it. Uh, but if you do get really frustrated, uh, um, 
sort of use this guide and sort of set it up next to you and you can just kind of run run with me all right so here's one of the skips that I was talking about is what you're gonna do is you're gonna move forward until you get that notification right there where it says to hold your position and you can just come back here and sort of be quiet and hide and none of the enemies will spawn in now on mine I accidentally did not kill any of the flood carriers and that kinda cost me right here because they uh, the flood carriers that were in and around this portion of the level sort of just all converged on me but uh, notice that there's no uh, other flood spawning like out of the t out of the pipes or there's no flood uh, combat forms either human or elite coming around the corners and of course if there is guys there's two health packs down in there that will help you out a lot Now in this area, you would normally go to the right, or the left I mean, and move through that area and sort of have to fight more flood, but uh, we're going to skip this. You're just going to go ahead and run at these and just jump at them. I mean, you don't have to crouch jump. Uh, you sort of just kind of bounce over the top of them. But make sure that you sort of angle yourself towards the top portion of the ramp so that you don't fall off or sort of slide down it and slide off the map. That'll, that'll definitely suck, especially if you're towards the last part or you're literally on the last part of the level. Now in this area I'm going to show you a grenade jump. You don't necessarily have to do this, but if you're uh, lacking in time or you're impatient like I am, you can just do it. Now in this next area, there's going to be flood around this corner, and you're going to go ahead and just grenade those guys, and now there's going to be a bunch of carriers in here. I think there's actually five or six, I believe. And then you also want to uh, make sure that you do, you'll see me constantly checking behind me, because I've had combat forms come in here and kill me before, so don't get tunnel vision when you're in here. I mean, I know you're in a tunnel and your vision's sort of in tunnel vision, but I don't know. Just one of those things. <coughs> now, as you round the corner here, there's going to be one enemy that drops down. And after you shotgun him, you're pretty much going to move back. Sorry about that. Yep, we're going to go ahead and shotgun him and then move back and just uh, keep throwing grenades. Make sure that you throw your grenades either at the same distance or uh, the second one further or the you keep progressively throwing farther. Uh, I've actually had grenades bounce off of other grenades and come back at me and explode and take a lot of my shields. Uh, it's just something to watch out for. When you start to move out of this doorway, the uh, flood spores will drop down, so just go ahead and back up and take care of those guys. Now the nades up on top of the ramp here is because there are two carriers back there. And here's another uh, rinse and repeat where I'm just going to start throwing grenades both behind me and in front of me. And then just sort of rush through here shotgunning. Especially being prejudiced to the uh, carriers, make sure that you get those first. Now at the end of this hall, there's going to be rocket guys. Now I'm lucky enough to where literally flood spores are catching the rockets and I'm able just to throw grenades and take care of them. But most of the time, I'm pretty sure that you're not going to be that lucky unless you're really quick and all the guys are grouped together, then the rocket guy might spawn and actually hit the carriers and kill himself. Now this area after the rockets you pretty much just want to hang out here until the flood combat forms the actual forms that hold the guns come uh, they can actually uh, sort of pin you in on all four sides if you're not careful it's just something that I learned from playing it uh, the other thing playing this level maybe with uh, turtle beaches or astro a40s if you have them 
Uh, you'll hear the combat form sort of doing their growls or you'll hear the sound of machine gun fire. Definitely want to pay attention to that and if they're close to you definitely because I mean you have infinite ammo and you're already running backwards as it is just go ahead and shotgun them because even from distance the shotgun is still pretty powerful. Uh, at least knocking the gun out of their hand is probably a good a good idea. Especially if you're trying to complete this without dying. That's probably one of the hardest aspects of this achievement is the fact that it's actually specific in saying that you cannot die. It's actually a good thing they didn't add those together. That would have been quite the pain in the ass. Alright, third floor. You're just going to move through here. Now there's going to be guys down at the end. Go ahead and just take those out. And make sure that you take the guys out on the ramps on the side because they have they have the tactical advantage of shooting down on top of you so they will definitely melt your shields. And because you're going into this tunnel, it's just not a good idea to have them shooting up above you in a, in a, when you're down low inside of a tunnel. Now, at the end of this tunnel, there's going to be a bunch of guys, so just go ahead and go willy-nilly and just start shooting at them. I find it's fairly effective to shoot them all with the pistol and then lob a grenade on top of them to make sure that they all are down and they don't come popping back up after you pass them. And grenade. And plus it also does get rid of other grenades in case you do run into them and you somewhat throw a grenade and run back. At least you won't get killed in an accidental explosion. Go ahead and just shotgun those carriers from a distance and able to knock them down and continue to shotgun. Maybe throw some grenades to get that splash damage kill. Alright, now when you come out of this tunnel... Just sort of take it a little bit cautious, kind of throw grenades on both sides because there are carriers on both sides. And then just kind of watch your radar. Um, radar is kind of a big issue, or not an issue, it's a big tactic, tactical advantage that you do have. Uh, using your radar to sort of see where the enemies are if they're moving towards you at least. And then of course, like I said, the Astros help as well. And now here's a door where you're actually going to have to fight. So the suggestion here is going to be to definitely, not like I did, but throw your grenade short so that the uh, carriers do not explode behind you or get a chance to maybe explode next to you. Exploding next to you is definitely not good. You definitely don't want that. Um, just continue to run around. Uh, I know that the spores are kind of a, the, the weaker enemy in this level and you kind of don't really have to worry about them. But if they are in big packs and a bunch jump on you, it does take your shields down rather quickly. I think I've said that before. But it's just something that you definitely want to look out for. <clears throat> now I'm going to go ahead and grenade around this corner because there are some rocket flood back here. And there you, there is probably heard. I you probably heard if you're if you're listening with headphones, you heard that combat form back there. And we're just gonna go ahead. Now I accidentally went to the wrong side. Usually, uh, if you go to this side, they will continue to pop over that. They will the enemies that spawn in will continue to pop over there, uh, over the jump, and they will continue just to come after you until you kill them all. And it sort of gets complicated because if you're close to the wall, they get behind you. So I actually double back here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the long way. I know that if you're pressed for time, but if you're actually following this guide, I think I do this in 24, 23 minutes. So, you know, seven minutes of, you know, extra combat or or getting stuck on something. I think that's, that's okay. I mean, it's definitely not the fastest run, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I haven't looked on High Speed Halo in a while, but I'm pretty sure that it's not the fastest run. Uh... The video that I'm basing this off of is actually uh, RC Master's video that he did for the Achievement Guide. And 
it's sort of similar. Um, he's obviously a lot better at the campaign than I am. Uh, I sort of was able to knock this out just from kind of, you know, sheer brute force and ignorance, just kind of throwing grenades and relying heavily on the shotgun. Alright, health pack as you uh, come out of there. Now there's going to be flood that jump out of here. Just go ahead and bypass them. And they'll actually take the long way around. They won't jump over, which is kind of weird. I mean, they jumped out. Why don't they jump over it? And now that was another rinse and repeat area. But for some reason, a lot of the forms didn't jump down or spawn in until I was halfway through. So this sort of helped me out a lot. And now... Here's another uh, skip. Just go ahead and quickly and quietly, after you enter this doorway, do not shoot your gun or throw a grenade. And you can actually just uh, kind of hide back here in this corner and wait for wait for 343 to uh, open the door. The uh, enemies don't spawn. And the enemies that were chasing you or that are inside the room right now usually don't come around this corner. And if they do, you can obviously shoot them and deal with them or grenade them. And actually, strategically, this probably is the better corner to be in. If you're thinking about it, I mean, they have to funnel their way down towards you. You can just continue to shotgun them over and over again. This is probably one of the longer waits that you have to actually wait and fighting all these guys is just it's just too much risk I mean I always weigh it out to where I want to say okay can I risk running into this room and fighting these guys or is there a way that I can get around or like this is there just like I have to sit for three minutes I mean I'd rather do that than risk the chance of dying and have to start over again especially especially being as far as you are but um, I mean I'm <laughs> no stranger to dying I mean I've gotten like I was saying I've gotten to the end and literally there's a there's the a skip portion at the end that I'll show you where I've uh, fallen off the the map and, and died you know right there at the end of the at the end of the maps at the end of the level so when you come through here, like I was saying, you're just going to lob grenades down here at the end. Now there's going to be a bunch of guys here, but they usually stay clustered up, so one grenade will get a good majority of them. Lose a lot more shield and health there than I actually wanted to, but I was rather close to them. Now there's just going to be one flood spore that, or carrier that you have to worry about. The rest will sort of fall down behind you, and you can just keep running past them. So we will <laughs> leave the third floor, <laughs> sort of, Jake, get him, ah, oh, damn it. Anyway, fourth floor. Now, if you guys are like me, this is where your, you know, your palms start getting sweaty. You're just like, oh my god, I can't believe I've made it this far. Oh god, there's a spore. Alright, so we're just going to keep sort of cautiously but speedily moving along here like I was saying you can you can mainly ignore the the spores that follow you um, you really just can jump over them and they don't like they don't react quick enough to jump with you but here you definitely want to take the majority of these guys out before you jump down or you can just wait for them it's kind of odd that the spores jump down at you, but yet the flood combat forms run around the trench and down the ramp to get at you. <clears throat> Just continue to... Whoa, close! Any closer and I probably would have taken a lot more damage, and those spores probably would have killed me. Alright, just go ahead and be a little bit more cautious now, because I almost died.
And, uh, not really a whole lot to say right now. I mean, just kind of keep shotgunning. I mean, it's better to be cautious. I mean, I'm, I think that you could probably run through those guys. But I'm worried that there might be a, a carrier. And there's not, so I'm just going to keep running. Now, in this area, there is another skip that you can do. It's going to be another waiting skip. And you're actually going to see me mess it up here because I take too long to get out of the hole. And basically, I'm almost dead. Yep, just like that, almost dead. Full health. So, if you stay quiet, I mean, I know that shotgunning people and throwing grenades isn't very quiet. But if you stay somewhat quiet and only take out the guys as they come around the corner, this room isn't that bad. Usually if you're quicker than me, you can get here and you won't even have to fight anyone. <clears throat> now I know that there's a health pack around the corner here, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Now, the last sort of jaunt that you have to do here you're gonna go ahead and uh, come around this corner and there's gonna be another uh, area where sort of enemies fall down around you but it's mostly gonna be carriers and then the combat forms are gonna be later on pretty much shotguns in flood hands devastate you so now here the final door was just on our right but I'm gonna go ahead and run past it all the way to the end. Now this is this is something that I do. I don't know. If, I mean, you guys can do you know whatever your favor is, but I like to run all the way to the end and let the guys sort of funnel down to me. I mean, I know that there's uh, an initial attack of guys, a flood, and then once the door actually opens, there's sort of uh, a larger group of them, and that's this group right here sort of a larger group of combat forms with uh, spores in support and then followed up by combat form so I'm gonna go ahead and start making my way towards the door here now at this point I'm actually very very nervous because I have one bar of health and I know that the end is pretty much right here and there's there's a few more flood spores now when you enter this doorway there's gonna be sometimes there's going to be guys on the right and the left there's always gonna be a guy on the left so hence the fact that you still have your pistol you're gonna take that guy out from distance now when you move in make sure that you just start shotgunning this right this top right position now these flood take a minute to get over to you but, like I said, I'm getting rather nervous and I don't really have any health to spare, so I'm just going to sort of take my time. But you're going to do some jump skips and I'm going to fail this first one because I sort of backed off because I saw those guys were really close. Go ahead and just shotgun them down and moving along here. So this is uh, pretty much the end. After we uh, collect the, or after we don't, we don't collect anything because we're just sort of trying to go for a time. And walking onto this platform will end the level. And there's Speed Reader. That's for completing the campaign mission, the library, in under 30 minutes or less. And now the other achievement that just happened for completing the whole campaign level of the library without dying on heroic or higher will not pop until after this cutscene, which is really weird because you can't skip it. You can skip every other cutscene except for this one and I believe another one. I believe there's one more that you can't skip. But, uh, yeah, I hope that you guys find this guide helpful. Uh, I know that 
I sort of had a lot of fun redoing it. I mean, I have this on my main account already, and uh, sort of redoing it on another account was kind of challenging and kind of fun. I actually uh, enjoyed grabbing it again. Uh, but like I said, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll have more Halo CE achievement videos coming up here in a few. But uh, thank you very much, and... Have a good night. Peace.